Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links below. Everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back again for another episode of Reactions with an X, continuing our Red vs. Blue series. Uh, we're on Season 5, Episodes 89 and 90, which is The Haystack, and another episode. I forget which one, because I didn't look ahead. But yeah, let's check it out and get going. Um, same new format with the video in the top left corner. Uh, oh, you can see me in the fourth corner there. Oops. Well, I guess you guys can't really. It's not too bad, but I'm going to go ahead and move the heck up there, there. All right, and here we go. I heard something that Hopefully I'm didn't hear audible. Anything. There, did you hear that? Yes, I heard water dripping. Sounds like bats. Bats, <laughs> bats. aren't made of liquid. Bats don't drip. Bat water. There are no bats. Bat water. You don't know. What if you're wrong? Okay, idiot. Let's assume I'm wrong. Let's assume there are bats. So what? You're wearing state-of-the-art biomechanical body armor. It's designed to deflect bullets and absorb explosions. What can a five-ounce flying rodent possibly do? Get caught in the helmet. So basically you're saying that you think there's bats. Sure. Why not? I'm getting the fuck out of here. No, you're not, Griff. We're standing right here. I told Sarge we wouldn't move, and we're not moving. At least let's go stand by the light. No, that would be moving, and thus would violate our strict no-moving policy. But the light would no. help us see the bats, no. and their fangs. No! Hey, you know what else might be in the cave, Simmons? Snakes. You're an asshole, Griff. Why would you bring up snakes? I'm just saying. I know you don't like snakes, and snakes do live in caves, and we are in a cave, and snakes like to crawl right up next to people in caves, and then they- Alright, screw it. I'm gonna go stand by the light. <laughs> okay, Which is funny, because right. Jeff is actually the one afraid of yep. snakes so in real life, think? who is the one who voices you like there's something wrong. That's your diagnosis? That's why we sent you down there, man. Because we knew something was wrong. A medic, what do you want from me? How about fixing her? Well, surprisingly, my medical training didn't really cover internal combustion. What a shitty medical school. Yeah, where'd you go? The University of Jamaica? Oh, please. I wouldn't be caught dead on that campus. I went to Jamaica State. We were the Jamaica State Fighting Irish. That's State. Notre Dame. That's well, Notre since Dame. we're international, we don't really have to adhere to the stringent U.S. copyright laws, so... Never mind. Just go back down there and see if you can reboot Sheila. Reboot her? Yeah, dude, that's how you fix broken stuff. You turn her off, and then you turn her back on again. She'll be fine. I don't think that'll work. Uh, pardon me, it works great. We already rebooted the toaster. We rebooted the teleporter. Yeah, I still don't know if that thing has all the bugs worked out. <laughs> we rebooted Caboose's armor once. Although, that took a lot longer to come back online than we thought it would. It was dark and I got to hold my breath. I'm pretty sure there was no side of it. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think it will work because I'm not going back down there. She's not exactly in the best of moods. Oh. See? Yeah, we need to get someone sneaky down there who could turn her off. Hmm. How about Tucker? Who, me? No way. I'm a lover, not a sneaker. Oh, that's your response to everything. What can I tell you? I'm a lover, not a thinker. How about Tex? Yeah, we couldn't afford it. If only we knew someone that Sheila trusted. And it would have to be someone kind of dumb. So that we could fool them into betraying that trust for our purposes. Hey, everyone is looking at me. I love Joel. I love when they do Sounds that. Hi, purpose. everybody. I love when they do that. Hi, everybody. And they're on the ground. See? And these are the two bodies I was telling you about. At first, I thought they were sleeping. But, but then, then, I then I realized they, they were, were dead. dead. The blues never sleep. They're too busy plotting to destroy our way of life. <laughs> That's how you can always spot a blue, don't you? <laughs> We're always the ones conniving and, and scheming. scheming. Sometimes I do both. I call that skiniving. Mm. And you know what else? You can also tell they're blue because they're blue armor. Yeah, that too. You know, at first I thought this cave was pretty dismal. Forgot they were down in that cave. It's amazing how a couple of blue corpses can really <laughs> screw out the place. Make you feel Make like, you feel home. like home. Yeah, we can hang a couple this, of drapes. I should probably turn chair. off the subtitles, oh, but this place will be fantastic. That's fine. Oh. Everything okay, Sarge? Someone was there. What? Oh yeah, it's just that I can't shake the feeling. The feeling that we're being watched. Ah, gotcha. Oh, son of a. Um, that was pretty dramatic. Yeah, it usually works better if someone is standing there when I do that. Kind of like now. Damn it! I'm normally not <laughs> wrong about this kind of thing. Oh, dark dark. Oh, do you have a good sixth sense? No, stupid. Motion activated <laughs> activity radar. It's standard issue. I guess I need to get mine calibrated. <laughs> Good reference. Hey, what the heck is that thing? Uh, that's a good reference to the original Sorry, series. Be able to see us here, right? Yeah, who cares? See, hey, this so is what oh. thinking, if we're in a cave, that was the needle right? Here. That's a pretty good point, Groot. Oh. What the? Are you 
okay? That's right, they use the needler as a knockout thing. Like a snake? Get it off. Simmons? And. <laughs> in the dick. Oh, hey, look, bad people. And they're slowing they're down. Bad people. And he Greetings, fellow web surfer. So that was great. That was uh, episode 89 of the Haystack. We're going to roll on to episode 90 Terms and Provisions. Well, I suppose I should figure out a way to get text to reboot Sheila. Man, I'm gonna have probably. to call in a lot of favors for this one. What also favors probably. could you possibly have stored up with someone who dumped you? She also, didn't dump possibly. me, Tucker. It was mutual. Mutual also, in what way? Mutual in the sense that you were both single the moment after she dumped you? Yeah. Boom. That way. Come on, Caboose. Let's go explain the plan to Tex. Wish us luck. Yeah, right. Hey, when she kills you, I'm gonna sell your armor to that pink guy on the red team. I hear he's in the market. Mm -hmm. Hey, who's the yellow soldier? That's just sister. She's new. No one told me about a new arrival. I'm supposed to examine everyone before they assume active duty. Don't sweat it. I already checked her out for you. Diagnosis? F-I-N-E. That spells fine. Thanks. But I think a trained medical professional should be the one I'm a doctor. A doctor of love. Ph.D. Certified in loveology. General harassitioner. Sexicologist. First of all, love is not an officially recognized medical specialty. And also, Ph.D. Isn't he not medically trained <laughs> Not really doctors. Either. Dude, you're a dork. Hey! What's up, sis? What'd you and Tex talk about? Oh, she was just talking about everyone here. How you're all idiots and jerks, but you guys are her idiots and jerks. And if I tried to become more popular than her, she would talk about me behind my back and turn everyone against me. And then I would cry and everyone would hate me. You know, girl stuff. Cool. Oh, hey, speaking of girl stuff, this is Doc. Hi. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm the medic. Uh, if it's alright with you, I need to give you a quick physical examination since you're new. Do you want to come in the base where you might feel more comfortable taking off all your clothes? Sure. Lead the way. See you, Tucker. What the fuck just happened? Sarge, I found Simmons. He's over here. <laughs> sleeping on the job. Donut, I'm not sleeping. I was drugged. Sorry, Sarge. He's not sleeping. <laughs> I'm doing drugs. <laughs> Donut, I'm not doing drugs. We were attacked. Oh, they must have used some kind I really of should turn off the subtitles because I read them before I hear him say it. Maybe he's out scoring you junkies some more drugs. Oh, they must have taken him. him. Oh, it's that Griff. Garbage collectors, the yes. people who ambushed us. Also, we yes. have to find him. Luckily, I implanted a tracking chip in his armor. I wanted to be able to find him when it was time to work. Mm. I should be able to lock onto his signal in just a few seconds. A few seconds? That sounds entirely hopeless. Well, Griff, we'll miss you. You were a good soldier. <laughs> Using the broadest possible That's definition of good. <laughs> and soldier. I've got a and signal. Soldier. He's probably a million miles away by now. Actually, he's only a tenth of a mile away. But who knows what direction? That direction. Exactly. We did our best, Simmons. Now let's head back to base and call for a replacement troop. Where's my shotgun? I don't see it anywhere. I guess they took it when they took Griff. Uh, what direction did you say? That way, sir. Come on, let's go. So Caboose is going to be up front talking to her, and then while he's got her distracted, you sneak around the back, access the panel, and shut her down. Okay, I'll do it. What? That's it? You will? No bargaining? No ridiculous demands? No. I'm trying to find O'Malley and his friend. In a way, you guys are helping me. If anyone should be making demands, it should be you. Oh, well, in that case, we Forget want... it. Deal's done. Damn it. Uh, how <laughs> should I distract Sheila? Just talk to her. Keep her attention. That's it. I don't know. Uh, we kind of have a history. Uh, she may not want to talk to me. So? Tex and I have a rough history. Doesn't mean we can't be professional and hold a conversation. I wouldn't exactly call them conversations. Uh, get off my back, woman. Can't you see I'm working Please. here? Please. You call this working? See, I, this is exactly what could happen with me and Sheila, only with more getting shot by tanks. Caboose, mm -hmm. if that happened, I'm sure the shell would just bounce off you and land on me somehow. Not wrong. Just smooth talker. I don't know how to do that. Just tell her she's pretty or that she's got that new tank smell or something. Compliment her treads, it doesn't matter. I don't know. It's easy. Look, here, just practice on text. She's womanish. Pardon me? Do you want Caboose to run decoy for you, or do you want to try this on your own? I see your point. Go ahead. Hello, Tex. Dude, you will not believe what Doc just pulled off. Shut up, Tucker. Don't interrupt. Interrupt what? Tex, I think you are pretty, and you haven't hurt my body in a long time. So I was hoping that we could talk and be friends maybe and hold hands and you would go with me. 
And when you went with me, you would be my real girlfriend. I think that would be nice, Caboose. We should definitely do that. What the hell? Tex, have you gone crazy? If you want to get with somebody, get with me, the love doctor. I'm a real man. I will rock your fucking world. Hey, don't look at me. He's not part of the plan. Ow! <laughs> what is going on around here? I don't think I'm going to use Tucker's rock your world line. I think I'm going to stick with my own material. I think that's a good idea. Uh, that was a great episode. Couple episodes. Uh, 89 to 90. Man, we're getting far. We're gonna have to have like a celebration for 100 or something. But uh, thank you for joining us on Reactions with the Next. As always, we're trying to stay updated and keep making new stuff for you every couple days. I know we don't always get it out as fast as we want to, and I apologize for that. But, you know, thank you so much for everyone who keeps commenting and stays subscribed. And uh, special thanks, as always, to our patrons. Uh, check the bumpers on both ends uh, for information on how to support us, as well as Rooster Teeth and Red vs. Blue, that information will also be in the description. So yeah, check you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X, with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support, and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.